So I uh, don't know many of you have had to do the kind of things I heard in this room about, oh, I have my data in an Excel spreadsheet, and all oh, the students did it, and it was a mess, and I had to clean it. Um, and some of you know the joys of trying to figure out something in Excel, and you click on the wrong button, and the sort only sorted one column, and now it's all wrong, and yeah, you didn't, yeah. So, so Excel is not necessarily the greatest tool for data management. And I would like to be able to give you guys um, sort of some news about new tools that are out there and help you do this in a very elegant way and make it actually a lot of fun to work with your data. So with that, data cleaning and data validation. So once you've got this data, either before you put it into a database or somebody gives you some data, they handed you a to get this in the database, or here, I got this from another database, or here's some feedback, because you put your data in a website, and um, I'd like to tell you what I found out about it. Errors, for example. So you're going to get feedback now that this data is going out to all these different places. <coughs> Yay. No, it's like reading or somebody actually reviewed something that you wrote and they actually bothered to make some comments that helped you make it better. Now you're going to get feedback about more data. So hopefully in that way you're going to discover new things about your specimens. You're going to discover dupes that are out there. Or perhaps you're going to discover some things that were published that you may or may not have known about. Um, discover that someone else has georeferenced those records and now you can get those georeferences. Uh, things, the other projects we've talked about are ones that are helping us do that um, even now. And then you're going to have to plan. There may be some policy decisions involved. Are you going to accept that new annotation? Are, do you want to and can you link that new publication that you didn't know about to your database? So repatriation of this new data. The kinds of errors you might run into, and I'm sure you guys can think of more than the ones I have on this list. So you can, with several different methods, clean your data. The brute force method in Excel, um, you can certainly, depending on the database you have or choose, um, may be able to learn how to query it more effectively. You may, it may be possible to learn the MySQL, which is not hard, for those of you who hear that and wonder. Um, I promise you, it's within your grasp. So if you can query your database like that, uh, it's well worth learning how to do that. There are some tools out there associated with filter push like Kepler Curator that do the kind of things we were talking about where they look at uh, collecting dates, collecting event dates, and making sure that the person who collected was actually alive during those dates, using the known data, set, data sets to help clean data. And there's this tool that was originally known as Google Refine um, that's now called Open Refine. It's a desktop app, and I'd like to show you guys how you can use it to clean your data. You can do things, these are just a very short, very brief example. Uh, things like you discover there's a lot of trailing white spaces in an in Excel field. With one click of a button, you can remove them all. Um, standardize your values. I mean, you find a bunch of different stuff at USA, U.S.A., United States, all caps. Some of these things are certainly standardized by things like pick lists, but not everything can be done that way. Um, you can do things, call services for more data, and then people say, what is a service? Think of it as a, an automated way to get one computer to give you some data back automatically when you make a request, an HTTP request in this example that I'm going to do. Uh, and imagine with undo in the farm, which is really nice. And something Google Fusion Tables, I don't have time for that, so just write that down so you guys can check out Google Fusion Tables. And those of you who work like with students and you have them collect data in Excel and you want to merge all that data together, instead do it this way and it'll all be merged for you. It's very cool. So Open Refine is designed as a way to be able to clean all these types of data sets. They don't have to just be comp separated. Um, so you maybe have other types of data you'd like to clean. This is where you go if you want to download it yourself and go read about the tutorials that they have there. See, and I'm going to try and do a live demo now.
typical type of data. This is a specimen identifier from um, the Florida, the FSU um, preparing uh, TSN, taxonomic serial number from IBIS, scientific name, basis of record from Darwin Core in a, um, an ID type file. So L is the name organism. So with this tool, if you guys know what facets are, and you can know in a minute if you don't, I'm going to click on scientific name and give you an example of what this does, and create what's called a text facet. With one click, it has now told me that in my scientific name column there are 80 different names, and it tells me how many times each one of those names actually exists. And if I scroll down here, can you guys read this one? No. Thank you. 
able to put some uh, web materials together that do this kind of stuff to, to teach this for anybody to use in the community. So it will be there very shortly as a resource. So teach everybody about these power tools. Tell them, you know, pay it, really pay it forward. Because uh, so it will save people lots of headaches, um, lots of time spent. And by the way, I did not show you undo. I did not. But each one of those steps that I played around with the data, with one click, I can simply back it out and go right back to where I wanted to be before, all the way back to the beginning if I want to. Very, very easy, very simple. So we all want data that's fit for research use, right? And this is, when people tell you, clean your data, clean your data, but they don't want to tell you how to go about doing that. And I was hoping to give you a fun way to do that. So have fun with your data no matter what format it's in. Notice this crab is wearing its label. It says <laughs> the West. <laughs> <laughs> so, and thank you.